Pierogi are filled dumplings of Central European origin. Made by wrapping unleavened dough around a savory or sweet filling and cooking in boiling water. Pierogi which consist of noodle dough and have to be cooked in boiling water are associated with the Central and Eastern European kitchens where they are considered national dishes. Their variant Veroniki are popular in Ukrainian and Russian cuisine. Pierogi are popular in West Slavic, Polish, Slovak, and Czech, Hungarian, East Slavic, Belarusian and Western Ukrainian, some Baltic, Latvian and Lithuanian, and other Central and Eastern European cuisines, where they are known under their local names. Typical fillings include potato, sauerkraut, ground meat, cheese and fruits. The dumplings may be served with a topping, such as melted butter, sour cream or fried onion, or a combination of those ingredients. Etymology The English word pierogi, plural, pierogi, pierogies, or pierogies, comes from Polish pierogi, p ergi, which is the plural form of pierog, p ruk, a generic term for filled dumplings. It derives from Old East Slavic per piru, and further from Proto Slavic asterisk pir, feast. While dumplings as such are found throughout Eurasia, the specific name pierogi, with its Proto-Slavic root and its cognates in the West and East Slavic languages, including Russian pirog, pirog, pie, and piroki, piroshki, baked pastries, shows the name's common Slavic origins, antedating the modern nation-states and their standardized languages. In most of these languages the word means pie. Bereniki comes from Ukrainian bereniki, bereniki, the plural form of berenik, berenik, which derives from Ukrainian var, var, boiling liquid, indicating boiling as the primary cooking method for this kind of dumpling. Brinzave pierogi is the Slovakian term for dumplings filled with sheep milk cheese. Koltanasi is Romanian term for filled dumplings. It is derived from Greek kaltsuni, itself a borrowing from Italian calzoni. Origin legends The origins of pierogi are disputed. Some legends say that pierogi came from China through Italy from Marco Polo's expeditions. Others contend that pierogi were brought to Poland by Saint Hyacinth of Poland, who brought them back from Kiev, the center of Kievan Rus. Nowadays the capital of Ukraine. On July 13, 1238, Saint Hyacinth visited Kaschilik, and on his visit, a storm destroyed all crops. Hyacinth told everyone to pray and by the next day, crops rose back up. As a sign of gratitude, people made pierogi from those crops for Saint Hyacinth. Another legend states that Saint Hyacinth fed the people with pierogi during a famine caused by an invasion by the Tatars in 1241. Yet another legend that holds that pierogi were brought by the Tatars to the west from the former Russian Empire, it has been said that in the 13th century, pierogi had first arrived on Polish territories. None of these legends is supported by the etymological origin of the root piru from the Proto-Slavic for feast. While the origin of the pierogi is often under debate, the exact origin of the dish is unknown and unverifiable. It likely originated somewhere in Central Europe or Eastern Europe, and has been consumed in these regions long before any of the present political nations existed. Today, it is a large part of many Central European and Eastern European cultures. Ingredients and preparation Fillings Pierogi may be stuffed, singularly or in combinations, with mashed potatoes, fried onions, pork, sometimes called farmer cheese, cabbage, sauerkraut, meat, mushrooms, spinach, cheese, or other ingredients depending on the cook's preferences. Dessert versions of the dumpling can be stuffed with sweetened pork or with a fresh fruit filling such as cherry, strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, apple or plum. Stoned prunes are sometimes used, as well as jam. For more flavor, sour cream can be added to the dough mixture, and this tends to lighten the dough. Preparation The dough, which is made by mixing flour and warm water, sometimes with an egg, is rolled flat and then cut into squares with a knife or circles using a cup or drinking glass. The dough can be made with some mashed potato, creating a smoother texture. 
Another variation popular among Czechs and Slovaks, uses dough made of flour and curd with eggs, salt, and water. The filling is placed in the middle and the dough folded over to form a half circle or rectangle or triangle if the dough is cut squarely. The seams are pressed together to seal the pierogi so that the filling will remain inside when it is cooked. The pierogi or vareniki are simmered until they float, drained, and then sometimes fried or baked in butter before serving or fried as leftovers. They can be served with melted butter or sour cream, or garnished with small pieces of fried bacon, onions, and mushrooms. Dessert varieties may be topped with applesauce, jam, or varenia. Baraniki are crescent or more rarely square-shaped. They are stuffed with fillings such as mashed potato, ground meat, liver or offal, cabbage, sauerkraut, fish, hard-boiled egg, or a combination of these. Typical sweet fillings include quark or cottage cheese, or fruits such as sour cherries, berries, and currants. Compared to Russian pelmeni, varaniki are usually larger include a much broader selection of traditional fillings. In case of varaniki meat-based filling, it is usually cooked and then minced. The cooking is required due to the larger size of varaniki and generally brief cooking time. During preparation, the filling is wrapped with dough, boiled for several minutes in salted water, and then covered with butter or cooking oil. In certain regions of Ukraine, varaniki are steamed instead of boiled. Savory varaniki are typically topped with fried salo bits shkivarki, and onions and accompanied with smetana sour cream. Leftover varaniki can be fried. As a dessert, varaniki are served with smetana and sugar, varenia, jam, or honey. Raw varaniki, with the dough uncooked, can be stored frozen, then cooked in a few minutes, which makes them a convenience food. Other preparation methods include the Latvian tradition of glazing with egg white, baking, and serving with soup. The Mennonite tradition bakes and serves them with borscht. Varaniki were mentioned in the description of Kharkiv Viceroyalty, Ukraine, a report prepared for the Russian Empire government in 1785. In the evenings, the dwellers cook baroshki called varaniki, with a wheat or buckwheat flour crust, and a stuffing made of fresh cork which is called cheese. These are not baked but boiled in water, which possibly gave them their name. This passage suggests, in contrast to baked baroshki, varaniki were not yet widely known in Great Russia at that time. Poland Traditionally considered peasant food, pierogi eventually gained popularity and spread throughout all social classes including nobles. Some cookbooks from the 17th century describe how during that era, the pierogi were considered a staple of the Polish diet, and each holiday had its own special kind of pierogi created. Different shapes and fillings were made for holidays such as Christmas and Easter. Important events like weddings had their own special type of pierogi kurniki, filled with chicken. Also, pierogi were made especially for mornings or wakes, and some for caroling season in January. Pierogi are an important part of Polish culture and cuisine today. They are served in a variety of forms and tastes, ranging from sweet to salty to spicy, in Polish cuisine, considered to be the national dish. They are served at many festivals, playing an important role as a cultural dish. At the 2007 Pierogi Festival in Krakow, 30,000 pierogi were consumed daily. Polish pierogi are often filled with fresh cork, boiled and minced potatoes, and fried onions. This type is called in Polish pierogi ruski, which literally means Ruthenian pierogi, sometimes being mistranslated as Russian pierogi. Ruski pierogi are probably the most popular kind of pierogi in North America. This variety is not necessarily the most popular in Europe, although very much liked. The most popular in Poland are pierogi filled with ground meat, mushrooms and cabbage, or for dessert an assortment of fruits, berries, with strawberries or blueberries the most common, sweet pierogi are usually served with sour cream mixed with sugar, and savory pierogi with bacon fat and bacon bits. Poles traditionally serve two types of pierogi for Christmas Eve supper. One kind is filled with sauerkraut and dried mushrooms, another, small USZKA filled only with dried wild mushrooms, is served in clear borscht. Leniwa pierogi, lazy pierogi, are a different type of food, similar to lazy vareniki, see below, kapitka, or haluski. Ukraine 
Veroniki in Ukraine are a popular dish, served both as a common everyday meal and as a part of some traditional celebrations, such as Christmas Eve supper, citation needed. In some regions in or bordering modern-day western Ukraine, particularly in Carpathian Ruthenia and Galicia, the terms Veroniki and Pyrohi are used to denote the same dish. The name Pyrohi is also common among Canadian Ukrainians. This can be attributed to the history of Ukrainian and Russian immigration to Canada, which came not from the Russian Empire, but predominantly from the former Austria-Hungary, where the local dialects had many common words with Polish, German, Romanian, and other Central European languages. In other regions of Ukraine, the names pyrohi and pirishki refer to baked pies and buns as opposed to the boiled dumplings. The name of a popular type of Polish pierogi, pierogi ruski, Ruthenian pierogi, is related to Rus, the historical region and naming of Eastern Slavs. Veroniki are considered by Ukrainians as one of their national dishes and plays a fundamental role in Ukrainian culture. Contrary to many other countries that share these dumplings Ukrainians tended to use fermented milk products Ukrainian, Kesla Moloko or Ryazenka to bind the dough together however today eggs tend to be used instead. Typical Ukrainian fillings for Veroniki include cottage cheese, potato, boiled beans, mushy peas, sauerkraut, plum, and other fruits, potato and cheese, cabbage, meat, fish, buckwheat. Slovakia a traditional dish in Slovak cuisine is brinzave pierogi, dumplings filled with salty brinza cheese mixed with mashed potatoes. Bridesave pierogi are served with some more brinza, mixed with milk or sour cream, so it has texture of a liquid and serves as a dip, and topped with bacon or fried onion. In Slovakia, pierogi are semicircular shaped. Along with brinzave haluski, bridesave pierogi is one of Slovakia's national dishes. Slovenia Idovi krapi literally buckwheat carps are a dish popular in northeastern and alpine regions of Slovenia. Made with buckwheat rather than wheat flour and filled with a mixture of cottage cheese, scuda, millet, and fried onions, they are traditionally topped with pork fat crisps, fried bacon or fried onion, but today often with butter breadcrumbs. Along with zagonki and strukolji, they form a trio of buckwheat-based dishes typical of Slovenian cuisine. Russia Pierogi are not to be confused with the Russian baked good pirozhki. Furthermore, the Ukrainian veroniki are widespread in the western and in the Asian regions of Russia. Mostly they are filled in Russia with cherries, cork, fruits, wild berries, blueberries, potatoes, cabbage or beef. Hungary In Hungarian cuisine, the dureli is similar of pierogi, pasta pockets filled with jam, cottage cheese, or sometimes meat. Dureli is consumed primarily as a festive food for special occasions such as weddings. And also used as common meals, at least in the southern parts, but as many other traditions this becomes rare. Romania in Romania, a similar recipe is called coltanasi, in Transylvania and Bukovina called pirosti and in Moldova called kairost. Coltanasi is often a dessert filled with jam, usually plum, fresh sour cherries or cottage cheese, or savory, filled with dill seasoned cheese, telame or urda, mashed potatoes or chopped meat. The dough is made with wheat flour and the coltanasi are boiled in salted water, pan fried in oil or baked in the oven. The word is a cognate with Slavic kalduni, a type of dumplings. In both Bukovina and Transylvania, the name pirosti is used in Romanian families of German or Slavic origin and the filling can also be a whole, fresh, seedless plum. The term koltunas is used by native Romanian families and are usually filled with cottage cheese or cork and served topped with sour cream svantana, traditionally called koltunasi cu svantana. German-speaking countries and regions The common term paraj place. Paragen describes all kinds of Eastern European filled dumplings and buns, including pierogi, paroshki, parogs and parodzini. Certain types of paragen, both boiled and baked, were common fare for Germans living in Eastern Europe and are still prepared by their descendants living there and in Germany. In particular, baked parodzini are known as Kurlander Speckkuchen. Corland bacon, speck pies. 
In the cuisine of Baltic Germans, dishes closely resembling pierogi are common in southern German-speaking regions. In particular, Schlutzkropfen are common in Tyrol and in northern Italy's German-speaking region of South Tyrol, and are occasionally found in Bavaria. Fillings may include meat or potatoes, but the most widespread filling is a combination of spinach and quark topfen, or ricotta. Another similar Austrian dish, known as Kartner noodle, Corinthian noodles, is made with a wide range of fillings, from meat, mushrooms, potato or quark to apples, pears or mint. These regional specialties differ significantly from the most common German-filled dumplings known as Maltaschen. The U.S. and Canada Pierogi are widespread in Canada and the United States, having been popularized by Central and Eastern European immigrants. They are particularly common in areas with large Polish, Ukrainian, or Ruthene populations, such as Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Chicago, Omaha, Massachusetts, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Detroit, Cleveland, Philadelphia, and New Jersey in the United States, and the provinces of Manitoba, British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Ontario in Canada. Pierogi at first were a family food among immigrants as well as being served in ethnic restaurants. In the post-World War II era, freshly cooked pierogi became a staple of fundraisers by ethnic churches. By the 1960s, pierogi were a common supermarket item in the frozen food aisles in many parts of the United States and Canada. Pierogi have maintained their place in grocery stores to this day. While pierogi are often eaten as a main dish in Canada and European countries, Americans often consider them a side dish, frequently served with meat. Numerous towns with Central and Eastern European heritage celebrate the pierogi. The city of Whiting, Indiana, celebrates the food at its pierogi fest every July. Pierogies are also commonly associated with Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania especially, where there is a pierogi race at every home Pittsburgh Pirates baseball game. In the race, six runners wearing pierogi costumes race toward a finish line. In 1993, the village of Glendon in Alberta, Canada, erected a roadside tribute to this culinary creation, a 25-foot fiberglass pierogi, preferred local spelling, complete with fork. The United States enjoys the most developed pierogi market because of its having the largest Central and Eastern European immigrant population in North America, Canada being second. Unlike other countries with newer populations of European settlers, the modern pierogi is found in a wide selection of flavors throughout grocery stores in the United States. Many of these grocery brand pierogi contain non-traditional ingredients to appeal to American tastes, including spinach, jalapeno and chicken. Pierogi enjoyed a brief popularity as a sports food when Paula Newby Fraser adopted them as her food of choice for the biking portion of the 1989 Hawaii Ironman Triathlon. For more than a decade thereafter, Mrs. T. S., the largest American pierogi manufacturer, sponsored triathlons, some professional triathletes and fun runs, around the country. For many triathletes, pierogi represented an alternative to pasta as a way to boost their carbohydrate intakes. However, the pierogi trend in the United States is not dying. Several cities such as San Diego now have their own pierogi trucks with popular flavors and restaurants across the United States from San Francisco, Seattle, to New York City are adding gourmet pierogi flavors to their menus, according to pierogi manufacturer Mrs. T. S. Based in Shenandoah, Pennsylvania, pierogi consumption in the United States is largely concentrated in a geographical region dubbed the Pierogi Pocket, an area including New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Chicago, Detroit, parts of the northern Midwest and southern New England which accounts for 68% of annual U.S. pierogi consumption. Canada has a large Polish population, and an even larger Ukrainian or Russian population, and their pyrohi pierogi or pyrogi are very common. Since Canada also has immigrants from many other pierogi-making people, such as the Mennonites, a wide diversity of recipes are used. The Canadian market for pierogi is second only to that of the U.S. market, the latter having been the destination of choice for the majority of Central and Eastern European immigrants before and during World War II. Packed frozen pierogi can be found wherever Central and Eastern European immigrant communities exist and are generally ubiquitous across Canada, even in big chain stores. 
Typically frozen flavors include analogs of rusky pierogi filled with potato and either cheddar cheese, onion, bacon, cottage cheese or mixed cheeses. Homemade versions are typically filled with either mashed potatoes, seasoned with salt and pepper and often mixed with dry curd cottage cheese or cheddar cheese, sauerkraut, or fruit. These are then boiled, and either served immediately, put in ovens and kept warm, or fried in oil or butter. Popular fruit varieties include strawberry, blueberry, and Saskatoon berry. Potato and cheese or sauerkraut versions are usually served with some or all the following, butter or oil, sour cream typical, fried onions, fried bacon bits or kielbasa, sausage, and a creamy mushroom sauce, less common. Some ethnic kitchens will deep fry pierogies, dessert and main course dishes can be served this way. A good method is to par boil the dumplings, then after drying, they are pan fried or deep fried. The frozen varieties are sometimes served casserole style with a mixture of chopped ham, onions, peppers and cheddar cheese or with an Italian style mixture of ground beef, onions and tomato sauce. National chain restaurants feature the dish or variations. Boston Pizza has a sandwich and a pizza flavored to taste like pierogies, while Smitty's serves theirs as an appetizer deep fried with salsa. Some Chinese cafes in the Canadian prairies have taken to billing their dumplings, jiaozi, as Chinese pierogies. Although called Veroniki in standard Ukrainian, speakers of the Canadian Ukrainian or Russian dialect refer to them as pyrohi, which can be misheard padae or pudaha by anglophones unaccustomed to the rolled R sound, or alveolar flap. This is due to the history of Ukrainian or Russian, Ruthenian, immigration to Canada, which came predominantly from the former Austro-Hungarian Empire. Lazy pierogi and lazy veroniki Lazy Vereniki, Ukrainian, Nidali Lenivy Vereniki Russian, Lenivy Vereniki in Russian and Ukrainian cuisine or Leniwa Pyrohi in Russian are gnocchi-shaped dumplings made by mixing tvoroh curd cheese with egg and flour into quick dough. The cheese-based dough is formed into a long sausage about 2 cm thick, which is cut diagonally into gnocchi, called halushki in Ukrainian and Russian, galushki in Russian. The dumplings are then quickly boiled in salted water and served with sour cream or melted butter. The name, Lazy Veroniki, faithfully reflects the very quick preparation time of the dish. It usually takes 10 to 15 minutes from assembling the simple ingredients to serving the cooked dumplings. Lazy Veroniki differ from standard Veroniki in the same way that Italian gnocchi differ from ravioli or tortellini. These are fluffy solid dumplings, not stuffed pockets of dough. The same dish in Polish cuisine is called lazy pierogi, Polish, leniwa pierogi. In culture Pierogi are probably the only Polish dish that has its own patron saint. Święty Jacek z pierogami, Saint Hyacinth and his pierogi, is an old Polish expression of surprise, roughly equivalent to the English language. Good grief. Or American. Holy smokes. The origin of this expression is unknown. In Ukrainian literature Veroniki appeared as a symbol of national identity, sometimes stressing its distinction from Russian. In the poem by Stepan Rudansky Veroniki Veroniki, 1858, a Russian soldier is asking a Ukrainian countrywoman to cook Veroniki for him. However, he cannot bring to mind the word. Veroniki. While the woman pretends not to understand him, the Great Pittsburgh Pierogi Race Ney, commonly called the Great Pierogi Race, is an American mascot race between innings during a Pittsburgh Pirates baseball game that features six contestants racing in giant pierogi costumes, potato peat, blue hat, jalapeno hanna, green hat, cheese chester, yellow hat, sauerkraut sol, red hat, oliver onion, purple hat, and bacon burt, orange hat. Monuments a monument to Veroniki right, was inaugurated in Cherkasy, Ukraine in September 2006. The monument erected at the entrance to a hotel shows Cossack Mame, a Ukrainian folklore hero whose fondness for Veroniki was narrated by Taras Shevchenko and Nikolai Gogol, eating Veroniki from an earthenware pot, with a huge crescent-shaped Veronik behind him. A monument to Halushki was inaugurated in Poltava, Ukraine in 2006. In 1991, a giant pierogi on a fork was erected in the village of Glendon in Alberta, Canada. The statue is 7.6 meters, 24.9 feet tall. 
In January 2010, a pierogi statue was proposed to be erected in Minneapolis, Minnesota. See also Notes and references External links The Dictionary Definition of Pierogi at Wiktionary the Dictionary Definition of Baraniki at Wiktionary The Pierogi Renaissance, How Poland's Most Famous Dish is Reinventing Itself